It's kind of fucked up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warren and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today I'm going to film like I used to and not do a formal setup. You see, I've been trying the formal setup with cameras set up everywhere, wearing a mic. Uh, it works, but it takes me a lot of time to edit four different cameras, and I don't know if you guys like that. So I'm going to film this video traditionally with holding the camera, some time lapses, and talking to you like this. So what are we doing today? You see right here behind me is a 2006 XT225. This is my brother-in-law's bike. He has over 13,000 miles on here. He uses it non-stop. But he also lives in the city of Chicago and he parks on this street. And unfortunately, somebody knocked it over and drove over it. So today we are going to be taking apart the front end because we have some issues there. So let's jump right into it. The uh, shifter is bent in. It shouldn't be that far in. This, which it shouldn't. The turn signal's bent in. And worst of all, the steering sticks in the middle. Uh, and it shouldn't. It's unrideable. I just tried to go not even 100 feet and couldn't make it. Something's wrong with the steering because I can't get over to the lock position no matter what. This is the side that would have gotten hit. There's a whole bunch of scratches in here that are new. So you can see that metal is a very fresh scratch and there was oil on it, which I shouldn't have removed, but did. Just wiped away with a finger, but those scratches are not oxidized and fresh. And the guy whose truck this is says it's not his, but, or not him who, he found it, my bike knocked over when he came. This is about where the bumper would have hit. I don't see any scratches of any kind on other than this. But yeah. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, in October, I am giving away a $150 OmniWall Power Tool organization set. So be sure you are subscribed, like my videos, and leave comments on my videos in October. Anyone that leaves a comment is automatically entered to win. So good luck. But now let's check out what's wrong with the XT. The best way to actually show you how stiff it is is I have this uh, bungee cord. And I'll show you the bungee cord doesn't stretch until it gets here. Now this is how much pressure it has. <sighs> okay, so you can see that. So the front wheel is off the ground there. Um, so there's something wrong. So I'm gonna take off the front wheel and then I need to take off this triple tree if that's what it's called. Maybe this is bent or there's a, a wash, uh, a bushing, not a bushing. <laughs> A bearing here and here I believe that might be broken hopefully it's just a broken part and not an actual bent frame because that would write this thing off so I'm gonna put you on a time-lapse I'm gonna rip this apart and see what we can find Alright guys, so I've taken the front end off uh, just so it's easier to work. It is still sticking right here and now I'm looking where it's sticking. Probably should have done this before, but if you see here, I think this is the lock. I believe the lock that locks it into place when you want to secure it. That seems like it's rubbing. So if that's rubbing, this could be bent. Um, but I'm going to remove the lock if I can get in there and see if this still jams. Uh, it's still a problem that it's, it's rubbing on here. So something is not working out 
exactly right here. And while I'm at it, I may as well take this off to actually look inside because clearly this went under some pressure and it bent somehow. Good news, everything here looks straight. I've used the ruler, hold it up in the shaft all the way around. There's no bends in it. Everything right here looks fine. All the bearings look good. So I think this thing just bent. So I'm going to bang this back, put everything back together and uh, see how it goes. Await the future to come at last. This time tomorrow I will be gone. A fate and memory forever. All right guys, the handlebars are back together the front ends back together I haven't talked anything down yet I will shortly but now I gotta fix rebend that the shifter lever and then the turn signal back here just gonna bend those back and then talk everything down and take it for a spin Remember guys, if uh, you knock over somebody's bike when it's parked, just leave a note. Uh, luckily, it wasn't bad. Uh, simple fix, did take everything apart. So, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I, I mentioned this quite a bit in my channel. Let me just grab it quick. So, I learned a lot from a channel about two years ago called Dell Boy's Garage. And he recommended this thing called the uh, Cross Check. Basically, what it is, it's like paint, that you mark on your bike to visually see if the bolts that you touched came loose. It also helps me remember what bolts I loosen and they, they need to be tight and talked down. So what I do is I always put a little dab on the top of bolts. It needs to touch the frame and the bolt. So when you walk up to the bike, you can visually see if that blue dot's inside or outside, there's something loose on your bike. So every bolt that I touched, I put uh, this cross check on there. It just helps me double check that I'm tightening every bolt that I took off. And it also is a visual inspection for whoever's riding the bike, what, uh, uh, that all the bolts are tight. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna take this baby for a spin. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you then. A celebration.